The question, who am I? Who are we as humans? And who am I as an individual? Has lots of answers, depending on who you ask. Our consciousness and our self-awareness create an illusion that we are made out of some special substance, that we have some kind of special ego power, some I-ness. But in fact, we are nothing but bones, tissues, gelatinous membranes, neurons, electrical impulses, and chemicals. I am a complicated biochemical machine. I am a mammal, um, and I am a human, and I am a father, and I am a person. And none of those things rules out the others. And no more do I believe that it rules out a description of me which says that I am a sinner saved by grace. We share with great apes, 98% or some figure like that. And even with E. coli, we share <laughs> a very substantial amount. Does that make us like E. coli? Does it make you like me? Does it uh, free us of choices for good and for evil? Every parent at some level is amazed at that moment when you see this little nothing, right? The first moment you see this baby and you love them so immensely. Um, where does that come from? It's not coming from a rational thought. It's not coming from, oh, I, I'm gonna love this thing because if I do, they will grow up to be big and strong and they will pass on my genes. It's a mistake and actually a dangerous mistake to think that science can ground our ethics. This really important question of do humans have value and how should we value them has to come from somewhere else. We uh, have some answers figured out in naturalism, but there's the hard questions of value and meaning and purpose, I think have answers in a naturalistic framework, but we don't know what the right answers are or even if there are such things as the right answers. We are creatures made of matter and energy. That much is true. Scripture tells us we were formed out of the dust of the earth, and to me, the, the concept of the soul is really the promise of eternal life, a promise I cannot test scientifically, but which I accept as a person of faith. Even if we can fully assemble a human someday, I don't think it's honest or safe to conclude that we have fully understood what it means uh, to be a human. As our science has greatly expanded, I, I feel as though our view of truth and reality has actually contracted.